Chantel with Telly's Talk and Chat. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're well. Today we are doing Let Your Dreams Be Your Wings. And I also picked out a couple of different colors. And I was figuring we were going to keep it to a two or three different color palette. So I did the um, Shimmer Copper, the Storm Gray, I picked out the white, and I've hit the table, so you're going on a bit of a boat ride again. And then for a hint of color, I did the green, which is meadow. Let me just get my iPad here so that I can share this out. I put it on the other side of my table on me. Gonna be one of those. It's okay. We're gonna be good. I'm not seeing my own video right now, so give me one second. There we go. All right, so I'm going to take this out of its package. Again, this is a brand new transfer. Uh, so I need to fuzz it. So I'm just gonna fuzz it on my shirt. You can use a towel. We have actual mats for fuzzing. You can use it on your shirt like I'm about to do. Whatever you need. Whatever's closest to you. Say hello when you're jumping on. Let me know where you're coming in from. Like and follow the business page and check out my VIP group. You can also check me out on Instagram and YouTube. Hey Ange, how are you? I'm just fuzzing it. I, I was going to fuzz it on my shirt, but I decided to fuzz it on my pants because it's easier than trying to see up that far and make sure I'm not uh, crinkling it because I don't want it to stick to itself like I almost made it do. So we're just fuzzing it about three or four times each. Part, if you can't put it all down at one time. So now I'm going to put it on my surface. So I'm just going to drag it up to where I think it's pretty much center. Oh. So now I'm going to pull it up because it's still super sticky, so I'm going to fuzz it a little bit more. What's new? What's everybody up to today? Um, this is a magnetic board, so it will stick greatly to it, so that's why I'm fuzzing it so much. And it is a chalkboard, so it's just kind of the same deal. But you don't want it to stick too hard for when you're pulling it up because then it will um, stretch your transfer and it may also take up the ink or the paste that we're using. In this case, we're only using paste because then we can wipe it off like we did in the last video. If you haven't, you can take a look. So we're going to push this down and make sure that there's no bubbles. We'll work with. So, I have my squeegees here as well. Trying to make sure that there's no bubbles. 
it's okay if it's in like the green part, but we don't want any bubbles where the words are or the flowers because then it will leak. Thanks, Gina. How are you? Yeah, we got this whole new setup going. We were looking to enhance my look. So I'm still having a little bit of issues with my one camera because every time I bump the table, it moves because it's on a wire um, hook thing, whatever you call it. Running at a, okay, so I'm running at a purple, I'm running at a green. Everybody got to remind me what colors I'm running out of so that when I do a creamy, dreamy um, chalk um, order, I can get some of the right colors. Again, you want to make this as creamy as you can. You don't want it watery, but you want it nice and creamy. And I'm going to do just the, um, the leaves in the green. What is everybody up to? Let me know where you're coming in from. Um, I've shared this live out to a couple different places. Let me know where you saw this. So we're just putting on a thin layer. I'm taking up all the excess. Well, I guess I don't need to put the excess back in the jar. I can put it on this part. So again, I've got a little bit of bubble here, but it's not bad because it's under the transfer, not where I'm chalking. If you want to know about Club Couture, you can hashtag club in the comments. If you want to join Chalkator, you can hashtag join, whatever we have as our thing. I'm always so confused. We're making it up as we go, so it's been fun, getting more creative and seeing what else we can do. All right, so I'm thinking for this part, do I want to do let your and be your in the storm or white because i'm thinking i'll do dreams and wings in the shimmer copper oh you finished school that's fun I'm assuming you mean the kids, but. So let me go ahead and I'll do the dreams and wings in the, um, what did I say this was? The shimmer copper. And then you guys can tell me if we wanna do the let your and be your in white or storm. Oh, maybe we're not going to.
might have to change this one out for one of the other colors. Oh, give me now. I can work with this. Just work the... Just work the water in. So it's not too bad, it's just... It's a little dry. I normally wouldn't put it in the um, shimmers, but this one seemed too dry for it to not put it in. I'm just getting some of this stuff off the sides as well because when it dries it... all right so i'll just use that and a squeegee So a little goes a long way, so I just took a bunch of it on the squeegee. You may have to go over it a couple of times depending because there are particles in it to make it shimmery. So it may take an extra minute to get through. I have, I've not really ever had too much of a problem with it. but. Every once in a while, especially because it blows drier. So this is something quick and easy to do. You can always message me if you want to join Club Couture or Chalk Couture as a business or even just as a hobbyist. We have many that do both. Um, I haven't had to push that much harder, actually. I just have to go over it a couple times. I'll just go over it. I almost missed part of the D over here. I gotta be careful because of the other stuff because I don't want to get the other words done. Others may push harder. I don't. I just go over it. Have you tried the shimmers? All right, so I'm going to try and pick this up from the or uh, this little tricky guy here is good for that. Sorry, I have to pull this a little closer to me. Because it's in the corner, it's made it difficult. And then every time I get it lifted up, I let it go. 
All right, so you don't really want to pull from the corner, so I'm just pulling a little bit from the corner and then working myself to the middle. But again, I could I could have um, fuzzed it more. These ones are always harder to find a gauge in their stickiness because they stick really well in some places and harder in others. But I just want to make sure that I get the chalk out of the... So like that. Reapply. Wow, this one really wanted to stick. Alright. So Guess I'm going with the storm. And I have my last hiding guy right here. Oh goodness. I have to go in and stir my chalk more often. All right, so I've taken a bunch, probably too much for that one spot. There we go. And then that's that little guy. All right. So now I'm gonna peel it right off. This might take a second. I'm lifting the whole thing right up because of it. Sorry guys, I'm probably making it shaky again. But there you go. There is our finished project. Only a couple places where it kind of came up a little bit, but considering how sticky that was, it's actually turned out really well. So, until tomorrow, bye guys. <laughs>